This video is an overview of some of the new automation features built into PSCAD version 5. We're going to start with the Seeger benchmark model that comes as an example with PSCAD. To enable the new script window and script output window, we first have to click on View and then go over to Panes and select Scripts. Now do the same to enable the new script output window. New automation scripts can now be created within PSCAD. Simply click on the New button and create a new script. This script is now part of this project and will be saved with the project as one of its project resources. This makes it easy to manage many projects that may have multiple scripts. To help with automation, it should be noted that PSCAD version 5 master library components now has a name field. The naming of components now allow us to grab components by name and not be dependent on an ID. To demonstrate this, let's go back to our Seeger benchmark model and let's give some of the components a name. So this inductor, for example, we'll just call it I1. This resistor, R1. And this resistor, R2. You will see the significance of this when we start recording. The record feature will generate Python script to mimic what the user is doing on the canvas. Let's start by hitting the record button. And let's move this capacitor. You'll see the Python script has been generated automatically for you. We've grabbed the Seeger benchmark case. We've grabbed the capacitor by component ID, and we've set the location. Now let's do this again, but let's enable by name. And let's try moving the components that we've previously named. Here, you'll see that the inductor was moved and it grabbed the inductor component and found it by name instead of component ID. Let's do the same for the resistors. You'll see here that R1 and R2 were identified as the name and the components were obtained. Let's go one step further and change some parameters. You can see the parameter changing code has also been automatically generated for you. Now let's stop the recording and put some of these components back kind of where they were. And rerun the script. Modifications to the script are as easy as simply typing and editing inside the script editor. So here, we'll change the value of 200 to 500 and we'll run the script. And we'll see that the value here has changed. Once we are done, you can simply hit the Save button, and this script will now be saved right here in the resources under this project. The last thing to go over is the script output window, and I'm going to add a print statement. Now let's run this script. You'll see the script ran. And in the output window, we see a hello command. So the script output window will output all the messages coming from executing this script. This includes all print commands, logged commands, and errors. So let's generate an error. We're going to change the print command to a capital P, which doesn't exist in Python. And we're going to run this script. 
you can see the Python interpreter has outputted the error that the print command is not defined. This will be extremely useful when debugging scripts. This has been a brief overview of the new scripting in PSCAD version 5. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.